What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Island Hopper TV and today I'm coming to you from Daytona Beach, Florida. The birthplace of NASCAR. So the International Speedway from the beach here is about 20 minutes away, 15 to 20 minutes away. So it's inland. We drove by it. It's pretty nice. Now I'm down here on Daytona Beach. It is currently September uh, 12th. This is not peak season, okay? So the crowds are down and it is very chill here in Daytona Beach right now. This is also a famous beach because people drive along the Daytona Beach. You can see here comes a truck. I don't see very many cruisers though. And then here is the Daytona Beach Pier. And then they have the ocean deck. Also known for shells. You can see, look at these shells. There's a little crustacean inside there. I don't know if you can see it. This guy's riding his bicycle. What beach do you know where you can actually ride a bicycle on the beach? Isn't that amazing? So we're gonna cruise around here in Daytona Beach. Check out this pier, check out the boardwalk area. See what we come across. See what this place is all about. It is a spring break hot spot in Daytona. They also get a bike rally every year. So being that it is September 12th, there's nothing exciting happening in Daytona Beach. And it's really just a relaxing time of year to come to South Florida in general or Florida. This is more like Central Florida. But this is basically the heart of Daytona Beach right here where I'm at right now. So the girls were telling me there's a separate restaurant up here on the roof. I'm just gonna scope out the roof and see what it is up here. But I definitely want some Joe's Crab Shack. Let's see, this place is called The Roof. Let's see what the vibe's like up here. <clears throat> oh wow. Maybe I'll get a beer here to start. party spot for you spring break types. Spring break in Daytona Beach, huh? Joe's Crab Shack and we're going to take a look at what it takes to drive on the beach in Daytona. So the sticks? So where the sticks are is where they stop your driving and then the rest of it you can still drive upon. You just have to come down, uh, you can either have a yearly beach pass or pay the $20. Okay, so a yearly beach pass or $20 to drive on the beach. And here's irony in itself. The yearly pass for Florida residents is $20. That's not too bad. No, not at all, man. All right. So let's get a beer up on the roof here. Oh, they got food here, too.
Okay, so I just got done having my Joe's Crab Shack, and that was damn good, man. That is some good food. I had the Cajun bowl, or the Cajun, yeah, boiler, or whatever it's called. Oh my gosh. I feel stuffed. I, I did have two shots of tequila uh, at his recommendation, and it was worth it. I mean, it's uh, it's a great place to eat here at Joe's Crab Shack on the pier. Uh, my server's name was Bennett. That guy was awesome. He told me some interesting things also, and that's why I'm going to make this video. So he said, north of Daytona Beach, of this pier, is corporate. This is all corporate, okay? So you have Wyndham, Hilton, all that jazz. You come over here to the south side of Daytona Beach, this pier, the south side of this uh, Daytona Beach pier, which I'm gonna show you now, you're going to see that it is dilapidated. I I used that word when I described it and he agreed that uh, you know that this side of the pier is just not what the north side of the pier is uh, for and here's what it is this hotel here it's going out of business They're, these are mom and pops and mom and pops got hit really hard because they couldn't sustain the hurricane so if you like supporting mom and pops maybe you consider staying on the south side but you're not going to get the same experience that you would get on the north side of the pier. Also, we were having a conversation and he was telling me that um, Daytona Beach used to be a very popular spring break uh, destination. And nowadays, it's not really because they wanted to focus more on the family. And my opinion on that is that the reason that uh, Daytona Beach is not thriving right now is because what happens to spring breakers? Uh, they're not always going to be 18. They're not always going to be 22. They're going to have families. So when you when you try to cut off the spring breakers, you forget that they're going to mature and want to come back here. And so Daytona Beach, when you see something like this on the south side of the beach, where it's really just kind of dilapidated, that's what I'm thinking. So. He was also telling me about the driving on the beach. So it is $20 per year to drive on the beach. So I think that's if you're a Florida resident. I don't know exactly what the deal is, but you see these sticks. You can obviously see the sticks. That's where you can drive on the beach. But when the sticks end, you can't drive beyond that. Obviously when it's a high tide, you're not going to be able to drive there either when it's high tide because high tide really affects your ability to drive. I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? So, uh, this is the north side of the pier. You can see this board rock here, which is mostly funded and built by corporations. So you can see people riding their bikes. I mean, the sand is compact, it's hard. It's not like most beaches where it's soft and uh, silky, where your feet just sink right in. So let's go ahead and go down here. See tire tracks right here. Why would you drive on the beach though? It's better to walk it anyway. This is some really hard sand. It's like walking on cement. Well, you can 
rent those bikes. And they're electric bikes. So you can rent electric bikes and ride them up and down here. That's awesome. That's awesome. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? down here and see what this place is all about down here at the beach. red sand down here so Daytona Beach going north oh man it just keeps on going all the way up towards uh, who knows St. Augustine beautiful Florida especially along the beaches This hat, but let's see. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm looking at your hats. Mm. This is a real old school candy store. They know how to do candy, huh? Mm. Broadway strawberry rolls. I just had two, and oh my gosh, best licorice I could I've ever had. 